Hi, this is a quick, uh, a quick little video on building flowcharts. Uh, the idea with flowcharts is we want to get a visual representation of, of what our program should do. So in this case, I'm going to create a flowchart in a program called Visio, and the flowchart is going to simulate a wacky weather service. So let's uh, go into Visio, and in Visio, I'm going to new and flowcharts and basic flowcharts. If you're using the 2013 of, version of Visio, uh, your home screen will be slightly different, but I think in the upper right hand side you'll see um, a link for a basic flowchart. Now with Visio, on the left hand side you have all of your stencil shapes. And the idea here is we're creating a, a diagram. So let's just drag and drop in the start stop uh, and I'm going to zoom in here so it's nice and easy to see and we're going to say Start. That's where our program can start. Sometimes you'll also see people put main in there because it's the main method. Um, so in this case, we're going to just do a little process here. Uh, let's display welcome to wacky, wacky weather. So we're just going to display something simple to the screen um, and uh, get the user to enter uh, the temperature and see. So that's why it's a process. If it was just um, doing a display, we could consider uh, either doing a data or something like that. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do is take whatever information the user gave us, so perhaps they told us it was uh, 30 degrees Celsius, and we need to make a decision. So, um, you know. Is it above 30 Celsius? If the answer to that is yes, okay. Actually, Okay, so if it's above 30, let's just display the screen. It's beautiful, put on shorts and a t-shirt. If if it's, I'll need to double click here to say yes. Double click here to say no. Now, when you have a decision box, there can only be two outcomes. It's either a true statement or a yes, or it's a false statement and you'd be no. Those are the only two outcomes. And the decision box is the only box in which you should have multiple arrows coming out. So if it's above 30 C, okay, is it above 20 C? Right? So in that case, it's going to be greater than 20 but less than 30. Display. Still pretty nice. But bring a sweater for later. So if it's bel below 20 C, is it above 10? We can say put on a sweater and pants. So if it's below 10 C, maybe here it is yes. No. It's cold outside. Okay. So you can see it's uh, a pretty, pretty straightforward program that we're going to do, and. <clears throat> 
Um, now we're at the end, so I can just say end. Now the thing is, all of these yeses, they just go into nowhere, right? <laughs> the program doesn't stop execution here. So I'm going to go up, click on connector, and I'm going to bring that down to our end. I'm going to do the same thing with each of these, because that's really what happens. So the program displays what we want to display, and then it comes down and it ends. Now, if I wanted to write that into pseudocode, let's go into NetBeans. So here we are in NetBeans, and <clears throat> if I wanted to translate my flowchart into some simple pseudocode, I could, I'm just gonna do it as, a, as comments. You could actually do pseudocode in Word or, or any text editor uh, that you want, but I'm just gonna call this uh, wacky weather, for lack of a better term. So what I'm gonna do is up the top here, I'm going to put my pseudocode. Now, pseudocode is um, a very, uh, very lightweight uh, way of thinking through the logic of a program without actually getting lost in the syntax of a particular language. So the idea here is I could write the way the program should flow, but I could then go and write the program in Java, or I could write it in C, or I could write it in Python, um, because uh, only the syntax will change. So let's take a look at our our wacky weather app here. So uh, the first thing it should do is display. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say my you know this is my main uh, main method and I'm tab over and say uh, display. So you see here, I don't need things like system.out.print, I don't need semicolons, I don't need anything. Um, but I do need to keep the overall flow of things. So um, I'm going to say like int integer So you see here, <clears throat> I'm not really getting lost in a syntax of Java, but I am saying, you know, define an integer to store temperatures. So I am using programming terminology. Um, and I'm going to say the temperature is equal to whatever the user input from the keyboard is. So I'm thinking, again, about the logic, more so than uh, the specific way of doing it in Java. Um, <clears throat> OK, so then I can just say, you know, if temperature is greater than or equal to 30 display it's beautiful put on a t-shirt so So our next one here, this display is still pretty nice, but bring a sweater for later. Greater than 10, display put on a sweater and pants.
Okay. Now, in this case, it's really easy to see the, you know, the translation from the, uh, from the flowchart to uh, the the pseudo code. Um, I mean, they look almost identical. And in many cases, that actually is how things work out. Um, is that, uh, you know, the flowchart can be used to ensure we have the right overall concept, and then from there we can translate it. You know, similar to. Uh, uh, programming syntax, but we're not worried about the um, the actual specific language that we're going to implement it in. What I'll do after this is I'll create another video uh, that will show translating this pseudocode into our actual program. Thank you.